My name is Robert Marks. In my electrical career in uh, 1981 as an apprentice. I've been an electrician my, the rest of my career up until 2008. Uh, because of health issues, I'm now disabled. Um, and it is my opinion, the problem um, with this particular meter is uh, these are called, in the trade, they call these stabs, which are actually current carrying bus bars that travel through the meter and then they have uh, ring devices inside that detect the current flowing across each phase, okay? And what happens is these bus bars are much thinner than uh, the old analog meters were. So what happens is if you have a meter housing that has accommodated the analog meter for any length of time, your, your uh, stab area where this portion would stab into the uh, block, it becomes spread from the old meter being a larger size bus there. So what happens is you now have a loose connection. And that's probably the worst thing you could have as far as an electrical circuit goes is a bad connection. So what has happened here is due to the fact of those, I'll call them gripping parts of the meter housing, have um, heat will do that, distort those, as well as the fatter bus bars from the previous meters. So you basically have a loose contact, heat builds up when current flow is at a, a relatively high level, and what's happened to this particular meter is, from the heat buildup, he has definitely has burned and uh, distorted the plastic on the back of this particular meter housing. Um, to be pr uh, perfectly honest with you, I would uh, call Edison as soon as possible, have them install a new meter, preferably analog, which I don't know if they will or not, but, uh, I think we're going to see a lot more of this problem due to that specific fact of these bus bars not being equivalent to the ones that were in there previous. So why are they making them thinner on these new meters? Uh, cost. Exactly. You know, I mean, Save that, some money, the almighty home. dollar is what the name of the game is. And um, I've heard of these meters being equated to, uh, think of it as taking your smartphone, putting a Tupperware bowl over it, and leaving it on your picnic table for a year and see how well it functions. Um, the old analog meters, they had been in service for decades. Some homes have the same meters that were on it when the home was first built and are still functioning at optimum levels. So, um, I don't know. It, we're definitely going to see more problems similar to this. I don't know how that would be corrected unless you had a new uh, meter socket installed that would correct it to a point. That's interesting because the homeowner is responsible for the meter socket, right? Exactly. And that just happened, uh, I would say, roughly seven to eight years back. Uh, Detroit Edison wants to lower liability so um, they used to service from the point of attachment to the meter housing the meter and the meter housing um, like they did with the light bulbs how you used to get light bulbs free someone supposedly complained i don't know who it would have been but uh, now the homeowner is responsible for the meter housing, that's correct. So that's really convenient then, because if you have flickering lights or arcing or your appliances are shorting out, you're going to bear the cost because they've installed a new meter on your home. Yeah, if it gets to a point where it's arcing like this and has, and has distorted the plastic, I would really call that a very dangerous situation. I think anybody else that has any background in the field would do the same. And this... um. On this meter, like this looks sort of corroded. Is that some well? Kind of that corrosion, that happens that? from well. That is definitely a burn, but that's from the 
let's say the receptacle of the meter socket that those grippers that bite this bar they're expanded from years of uh, housing the analog meters and these and are the, much can you thinner. Show people what what it looks like isn't it kind of like a V and then this stabs into the V? That's yeah, it's it's basically it's it's like a pinch bar and you push them in like that and they grab onto the meter in that fashion. These two and these are they have tension on them. So as you place that in there, there's tension on there. Mm -hmm. And from years of having the older meters in there uh, in use, uh, heat over time expands, contracts, expands, contracts. Uh, electricians run into it quite frequently with plugs in the home. If they mm. have heavy use to them, sometimes the screws will literally uh, loosen themselves. Even in the panel, it, it'll do that. I know every electrician that does a service call is well aware of that fact. Um, I missed a portion that I should have addressed earlier while I was telling you about this meter. Um, on this particular bus bar here, we have little pitting of the actual metal that protrudes from the back of the meter. That pitting is caused by ionization of the metal. And what that is, is if anybody's ever plugged a plug into a socket and has noticed an arcing, that is ionization. It's a, it's a flow of electrons immediately, and when that gets bright, so bright enough for you to see that on a molecular level, that is equivalent to being as hot as the sun, but only on a very minuscule uh, size. But over time, it'll keep hitting. It'll, it'll eventually become much worse and uh, just as I told the owner of this particular meter I would call as soon as possible and ask for a replacement meter due to the condition of this particular meter. It, uh, it's kind of scary. I've, I've never seen it uh, actually to that point but Judging from what I see here, it's, it's definitely built up enough heat during one point in time that combustion could have been possible. So, there you have it. Thanks, Ron. I left out one thing in regards to the meter that I just shown you. Um, as a homeowner, if you happen to be in your home and you notice your lights flickering, or part of your house actually st stop uh, working, so to speak, um, it could be related directly to that because it you can burn so much of that away that you will no longer make contact onto the meter itself, which in turn does not allow the completion of the circuit. So that's a s situation that you can look out for uh, flickering, your uh, your uh, cable box going off, your computer shutting down. These are things that will start happening on their own and you'll think, oh, that's funny. But in turn, it actually is a very serious situation. So what it's like is like the electricity is going it's a and momentary, stopping it's and going a and stopping and going yes, and stopping. It, it's, yeah. it's trying to find its path. And so it's jumping around that bar, but where those little pits and burn and carbon builds up, it can't carry the current, so mm -hmm. it jumps around, arcs until it finds a path, and then it follows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would, uh, I would say, if you're experiencing those, get on the phone immediately, call your uh, power company, and have them open up the meter and check that, because that is a very good place to start.